Okay, welcome back. Now that we're done programming op 1, it's time to prepare op 2. So the very first thing I'm going to do is create a new machining document. Again, I'm going to use the same machine definition. It could be going on a different machine. That's entirely up to you and what you have access to on your shop. Now that the document is open, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. This will be op 2. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, again, simplify what we're looking at just so it's easier for you to follow along. I'm going to turn off my subspindle and my Z2 axis on this machine. And I'm going to reposition the part onto this spindle. Here we go. So I go back to OP1. I'm going to go to the our additional tab. And then I have a function here called part repositioning. Part repositioning is awesome. It allows you to reposition the part either in the same document or into a new CAM document. You can create a new document on the fly or go into an existing document. It's up to you. You're always the driver. Here I'm going to go ahead and validate. It's going to ask me what is the part holder, in this case the main chuck again. And now I can go straight into positioning. And again, positioning is simple. I just select this face to that face and that did an axis on axis. I'm going to select this flat face here. And here I'm using a rotative selection to do so. And that's just holding your left button down and tapping your right. And finally, I'm going to do an axis on plane constraint, again, to align this the same way I aligned it on the previous setup. So I'm going to take that to the XZ plane. I'm done. There's my G54. The last thing I need to do is program. So let's hit save because it's always good nature to save. And now I'm going to select that I want to rough from this face to this face. Again, I'm using Alt to select my start and ending face. I'm going to choose roughing. It'll pick my tool, because that's the only OD tool I have in there right now, so it makes life simple. Maybe I'm just going to set this to leaving 10 thousandths and maybe doing a 50 thousandths depth of cut. Cool. And I'm done. Parts roughed. Lastly, I'm going to finish this, right? So I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to select this face from there to there, and I'm going to go ahead and go to finishing. You can see my finish tool path preview, and like that, we're done as well. Perfect. So in a few short seconds, we repositioned the part and we roughed and finished the back side of this part. How cool.